Number 13. Show that units of volts per meter and newton per coulomb for electric field strength are indeed equivalent. All right, so we have to prove that volt per meter is going to be equal to newton per coulomb. So first thing I want to do is highlight the uh, volt here. Notice that volt in the formula here on the right, that volt is essentially equal to the energy, potential energy, divided by the charge. We know that energy has the units of joule and charge has the units of coulomb. So what I'm going to do here is basically take this set of units and substitute it on in for volt. When we do that, we now realize that it's going to be joule, joule per coulomb per meter, okay? And this has to somehow equal newtons per coulomb. So realize, you know, algebraically here, if this is in the denominator, essentially of the numerator fraction, we can just move this on down into the denominator overall. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? So we bring the coulomb on down. It's going to be multiplied. Let's erase this little line here and let's bring the joule down. Okay, so we got this, right? Now what I want you to do is I want you to recall that a joule, we can think about it in, a, in terms of a few ways, but I'm going to think about it in terms of the work formula. So work is equal to force times distance. We know that work has the units of joule, and therefore joule is equal to a newton, which is force, times then the distance, which is meter. So newton meter. So in other words, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the newton meter and plug it in for joule. So when I do that, then I got newtons times meter divided by then coulomb times meter. And that has to somehow equal newtons per coulomb. And wait a minute, if the meters cancel, what does it look like? Newtons per coulomb, thank goodness. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Be well.